We believe that videos, images, words, and sounds have the absolute power to inform, inspire, and entertain. We reject indecision, confusion, and vanity, for they work against the community. We are united under the virtues of safety and knowledge. We are a training community of learners and teachers who encourage and energize each other to achieve greatness. We are pilots, videographers, photographers, freelancers, business owners, enthusiasts, experts, and apprentices. We are creators. We are the Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I am Rob. And you're listening to episode number 348. And as always, we thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with us. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, almost to 350. That's well, that's actually important because we're giving away a membership for all we those are. who ask questions, right? Absolutely. But it's more important because it's a three day weekend, Rob. It is? Yes, it is. Memorial Day weekend. What are you going to do? I'm going to Phoenix. Are you? A little baseball tournament whoop, whoop. in the heat. Mm, actually, it'll be a nice, balmy 105 degrees I there know, for you. I hey, know. I was there last weekend. I don't have to play. I can sit in the shade. Yeah. I was out there last weekend. It was 102. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. It feels like 85 on the East Coast. And I mean, like, I would take the dry heat over the East Coast heat. Any day. See, I, I would too, but I was just talking to a friend who comes from upstate New York and has been in Albuquerque for about a year, and she was saying that she misses that type of weather, and it, she was basically rebutting the whole dry heat is better argument, which I, I've not heard many people do that, actually, because well, the humidity is brutal. Scientifically, the uh, dry heat is much better for you. That's why we, there are so many cancer centers in the Southwest, because it's a great place uh, for cancer treatment. Hmm. Um, and the South, I mean, the dry here. Okay. Here's what I love about the Southwest. You can drive anywhere in six hours, Denver, yeah. six hours, Phoenix, six hours, El Paso is four hours. Uh, you know, Austin, that's a little bit more of a drive, but you can see for miles and miles and miles. Literally you could see for 60 to a hundred miles away. Absolutely. And it's just so gorgeous to drive in, in these parts of, of the country. Yeah. You can even get to the coast. What in 12 hours? Yep. Mm -hmm. Which really, I mean, that's a day. Well, it's a long you, day. If you go to the Mexican coast, it's only, I think, like nine hours or eight that's hours. That's true. Yeah, so. I, just, I was thinking like San Diego. LA yeah. Area. I was thinking about going there for more Memorial Day weekend, but I haven't yeah. made up my mind, so I've got a couple hours to do that. That's the way Paul lives his life. <laughs> Hey, it's fun that way. <laughs> no, then the girlfriend has yeah. no expectations, no assumptions. We just go and we make it a I good time. I think it's awesome. That was not a critique. <laughs> I think it's fantastic <laughs> that you can do that and you do do that. Keep on doing it. Can you tell I'm organized? You know what? <laughs> as long as you get where you need to go and do what you need to do. Yeah, that's what it's about, right? So anyway, well, let's get into today's question. Welcome, everyone. We're going to be talking about Black Pearl Monitors and... Anyway, let's just get right to the question. Yeah. Brought to you by Legal Flyer. Are you a drone pilot? Are you operating under a Section 353 exemption? Then you may be familiar with Item 27, which requires you to get a property release for every flight over property. Legal Flyer is an app for iPhone and iPad that helps you create professional property releases in less time than it takes to do a pre-flight check. You can add your pilot info, you can sign in, hand it to the property owner for their signature. But wait a second. Legal Flyer's advanced integration automatically adds latitude, longitude, and even altitude. Then add a panorama straight from the app. Everything drops into a single page PDF you can share with a single tap. It's compliance at light speed. Visit LegalFlyer.com for more information or get it straight from the app store. Legal Flyer, property releases for professional drone pilots. Hi, this is Musa from Scandinavia. I got a question about using the Black Pearl monitor without the antennas on. Is it possible to turn the Black Pearl monitor on without the antennas for using with FPV on a like Phantom 3 with the HDMI input? Thanks. So, number one, very, very cool. Thank you, Musa, for the question all the way from Scandinavia. That's awesome. Glad you're listening. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. That is a long distance. Yeah, it is. Simple answer. Yes. Yes, you can. Um, what I do is I just turn it on and I switch right into HDMI mode, which is just hitting the M button, the mode button. So it's just boom, 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 boom. Um, it will not fry your receiver. Um, I have had 
uh, antennas off there for a long time, and I can throw antennas back on when I am actually using, uh, you know, the, what is it called, the analog receiver system, okay. which is an amazing system for FPV as well. Um, but yes, you can turn on your bla- your little uh, you can turn on your fly sight without having antennas on, and just I would say you know switch immediately over to HDMI because you don't really cool. want power going through those antennas when you're not using them. So let me just ask you, and I think probably most of our listeners, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, understand the basis of this question in the first place. But can you explain a little bit why he's even asking this? Yeah, question? because if you turn on a transmitter without okay. an antenna on, you fry the transmitter. Gotcha. So, but this is a receiver, a little different. Okay. Um, but I can understand his fear. But uh, from my personal experience, I have never had a problem. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that that's scientific. I'm just saying I've never had a well, problem. <laughs> so. All right, but you had a hypothesis at some point. My hypothesis was, it's my hypothesis. I'm going to turn on my fly sight without antennas. It's either going to fry the antennas right. or it's going to work perfectly. So it is science. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is scientific. You know, you if we're talking fi- fifth grade science, then yeah, well, we're in yeah, here. Exactly. We're, in, we're, we're doing good here, Bob. So. You kind of followed the scientific <laughs> method, and everything worked out fine. So, uh, But, uh, yeah, the concern comes from uh, if you turn on transmitters uh, without... Um, without antennas, you can absolutely fry them. Okay. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a short podcast because that's that's it. You know? <laughs> that's I mean, well, like that's there's your answer. You don't have any other news in the drone world to share with people or anything. Uh, I think I think we're all on the same page here. It's Friday. It's Memorial Day weekend, and we want to get to relaxing. Yeah, absolutely. So, where are you going to fly this weekend, Rob? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I'm going to make a stop in Sedona. I, I thought we said make a stop in Sedona. Oh, man, maybe that'd be cool. You know, what? actually, one of my favorite drives is actually from Albuquerque to Phoenix because of that area just south of Flagstaff. So which... Uh, which Off to the west. So you're going down I-17. Yeah. You're not going through Payson. No. Okay, I'm going to gotcha. go down I-17. And particularly during like dusk, it's just amazing when you see those layers yeah. of the mountains off into off to the west. I would love to go fly getting images from there. Oh yeah, so. oh yeah. One place I want to fly is uh, Havasu Pie Falls. Mm. So, but it's a solid ten mile hike from the road. I was gonna say, is it pretty hard to get to? It is, but one day this summer I'm gonna do it. So I, I've I've told Sarah about it. I've told Jason about it. I've told all my friends that hey, this is something I want to do this summer. So so you can come with me or not, or I'll do it by myself. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, I should be careful. Be I shouldn't say that because anytime I announce on Facebook I'm going somewhere, I get a dozen messages. Let's meet up. Let's meet up. Let's go fly. Let's go fly. It's like, all right, if I'm with my girlfriend, that's not going to happen because her time she is precious and she hates it when I spend time on drones. Well, it's already limited enough as it is. Yeah, extremely I mean, limited. So the way life rolls. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, but uh, if I'm out on business, you know, it's another story, and I do try to meet up with people. But again, yeah. it's limited and. I can only meet with a certain number of people, so don't sure. take it don't take it personally. So, so what about you? Where are you going to fly this weekend? We know that's coming up in the future. What do you want to go do? Where do where do I want to go fly? Yeah, this weekend. Or what mean? are you going to go do? I don't know. I wow. really have no idea. Seat of his pants, folks. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I want to fly somewhere new. Um, I definitely want to fly. Um, and I think I'm going to get the upgrade for my antenna or for my remote to get the long distance just because I'm mm-hmm. having some issues uh, with my feed popping in and out more and more. Um, but uh, I don't know, man. There, You know, I always think like Sarah's thinking San Diego. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know. I'd rather just go to Denver and spend a weekend just relaxing, but maybe go to a lake up there yeah. or something. But we don't have a boat Very up there. Cool. so It's all right. Still fun to go to the water, right? Yeah, I'd rather be on a boat. Yeah. So, okay, come back to where I'm going. Where are you going? <laughs> it's about me. It's really not. Driving to Phoenix, like it's we talked about, about, and there's those there's a little rest. I mean, you pull off for yeah. the scenic view yeah. pull off. Would Could you take off from there and go fly? As long as you don't fly over the highway. Yeah? Yeah, I don't see an issue. Hmm. So as long as you're not in a no-fly zone, I don't see an issue. But again, that don't fly be... over people, so don't fly over the highway. Right. But So, yeah, if you're taking off highways here you're taking off that way you'd be fine yep Hmm. yeah cool i guess we're gonna find out what we're gonna put uh, that sim to work boy (laughs) i'm just kidding on that bombshell that for paul's on that bombshell that's gonna do it for us today my name is paul (laughs) i'm rob this is ask drone you enjoy your memorial day weekend do not fly over people don't fly through fireworks 
and please represent this industry with respect and responsibility so we can keep flying and have the freedoms that we have to fly. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. We believe that videos, images, words, and sounds have the absolute power to inform, inspire, and entertain. We reject indecision, confusion, and vanity, for they work against the community. We are united under the virtues of safety and knowledge. We are a training community of learners and teachers who encourage and energize each other to achieve greatness. We are pilots, videographers, photographers, freelancers, business owners, enthusiasts, experts, and apprentices. We are creators. We are the Drone Youth.